What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to talk a bit about how you can go about adjusting the markers for your line chart in Excel. And what I mean by markers is they like these little, you see these little green boxes on the line. Um, that's the markers for your chart. So first to get to the settings to adjust the markers, you want to click on the line, new line chart, then right click on that line. And after this little box comes up, you want to go to the bottom and click format data series. Where after getting to the list, you want to go to the one on the left with a little fill option, and then you want to click on not line but marker. And this is where you can adjust the little markers that are right there. Um, so, looking at the marker options, this is where you can select what the mark looks like. So, you can have automatic, um, you have none, or you can have a built in marker. And by built in, um, this is the one that gives you the most flexibility. As it allows you to go through and, for example, change the shape of the marker. So you can have a, a square, a triangle, a circle, and you can even have an image So uh, inside of your marker. Um, one thing to note about using an image in your marker is that you don't have a lot of flexibility when it, change, when it comes to changing the size of the image when it uses the marker, but to kind of show you um, that it can be done, Going to click on icons, clicking on let's just say an acorn, for example. Click insert. Now uh, you can see we have acorns in our markers. So control Z. Um, you can uh, to, to get that out of there. Um, you can you can also adjust the size of the markers right here. So right now it's at ten, but you can you know make it however big you want it, however big or however. Um, small you might want it to be to ever what fits your needs and now let's just say you wanted to keep those circles at 12 um, going down to fill this is where you can adjust the fill of the icon that's in the markers um, so you can have a solid fill for the markers you can have gradient fill a picture texture fill pattern fill or um, whatever suits your needs let's say you want a solid fill and now we can adjust the colors to whatever we want. So let's say we wanted a blue color. And scrolling down a bit further, you can also adjust the border for these markers. So we can have no line, we have a solid line, um, or a gradient line. Let's just say you wanted a solid black line. So you know here have a solid line right here. We can scroll that down a bit more and adjust the colors. So now it's black. We can adjust the width, so let's say we wanted you know markers with a thick solid black line. Um, you can adjust the compound type or even the dash type. So if you wanted, you know, these markers to have a dash around them, then you can go ahead and do that. And, you know, now we have blue markers with little dashes around them. So going back to these options, um, you know, under the marker options, you can even adjust, you know, have flexibility adjusting how the dash looks like. You can have different cap types, square, round, different join types, or you can even have and arrow. Um, so just say you know, instead of a line, you want an arrow on our, the borders of our markers. It doesn't show up too much, but um, you know you can adjust the settings. Uh, it doesn't show up too much because of how small it is, but um, you can kind of adjust with it and you know just know that option is there. So yeah, and that's it. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Um, it, it might take you know best to run run through a little bit to get it to look like the way you want it to look like. But um, it just kind of just shows you some of the options that you have when it comes to adjusting the markers on your graphics. So, so if you like this, please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.